What's up, everybody? Hopefully all of you are staying safe and well. For today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make hibiscus iced tea or what is called jamaica in Mexican cuisine. This recipe is so easy, you'll definitely want to keep an ice cold pitcher of this tea in the fridge for this summer. Let's get started. So I have an eight ounce bag of jamaica or hibiscus flowers that I got at the store for under three bucks. This is probably an ingredient that you walk by at the grocery stores all the time, but here's the simple way to use it and you can get the biggest bang for your buck with a beautiful iced tea. So I'm gonna take about two cups of the hibiscus flowers and we're gonna put them in a pitcher and I'm gonna pour four cups of hot water over the flowers. After that, all you have to do is just let the flower steep for about 10 or 15 minutes. And what you wanna do, of course, with your remaining tea leaves or flowers, you wanna put them in an airtight container with a seal so that you can have some for a later time. Hibiscus tea or Jamaica has always been one of my favorite drinks when I go out, especially for Mexican food. However, the sweetness varies depending on who made it. So I decided just make it at home and then I can control the sweetness and the tartness. Um, if you like it a little stronger, you can let it steep longer. You can definitely be in control of this recipe. Once you make it one or two times, then you'll know how you like to make it. As far as the taste, I like to compare it to cranberry juice, only it's more floral. It can be really tart, it can be really sweet, and you can drink it without sweetener. It definitely can be drank without sweetener. You can sweeten up the iced tea with any type of sweetener that you want. You can use a keto-friendly sweetener. You can use granulated sugar because it's gonna dissolve. You can use a simple syrup. Um, I'm using agave nectar because that's what I like and I have it on hand. Just make sure you stir it really well to get the sugar to dissolve. And then we're going to add four cups of cool water to finish it off. Be sure and check the description box for all the information where you can find the recipe. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You know I appreciate it when you come cook with me and hang out. Don't forget this recipe and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. And I'll see you guys next time.